From Venice Beach, California, it's Flash Friday. You're listening to the Tom Likas Show. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's never con a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. It's Flash Friday from beautiful Venice Beach along the boardwalk. Here we are doing our thing. You know what we do. Shock jock by day, crime fighter by night. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. Coming up, appropriately enough, at 420 Pacific Time, Cheech and Chong are going to be here. And uh, they're about to uh, embark on a tour. And uh, these guys have not toured together for 25 years. So uh, this is going to be uh, really interesting uh, to see uh, uh, what they're into and what they're up to now. Cheech and Chong coming up in just a few minutes here. In the meantime, it's Flash Friday, and the headlights are on. If the headlights are not on, uh, you should be turning those headlights on right now. Turn them on right now. And, ladies, if you see somebody with the headlights on, show them your cans. Show them your boobs. Come on. We flash you. You flash us. If you see a nice pair of cans, you can call us and report to us at 1-800-5800-TOM. And, by the way, ladies, if you are in a stationary position or... You're in a place where there are no headlights and you'd like to show your cans. You can call us here at 1-800-5800-866. Wide open telephones on the Tom Likas Show. Anything goes here, anything at all. We can talk about anything that's on your mind. It can be anything we discussed on the air this week. Anything you think we should have talked about, you can call up, yell, scream, complain, jump up and down. It's all fair game as long as you're absolutely fascinating. If you're not... Kick your ass the hell off the telephone. It's that simple. Just call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. All right. Let's say hello here to, uh, wow, Joe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, sir? I'm, I'm doing okay. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing all right. Hey, I just want to say something about Geraldo. All uh, right. I don't think he should call you. I think he needs to keep his mouth shut. I think he needs to take this time and think about what he said and realize that it's about time that he shuts his mouth. I served four and a half years proudly in the military uh, around the time that he decided to uh, open his mouth about my fellow troops, and it didn't really please me too much. And uh, I'm totally sick of him. And I'm just glad that you got to prove him wrong. Well, he came, he came in here, and we cooperated with his staff in every possible way. And then when I wasn't looking, he went on TV and uh, accused me of uh, p- perpetrating a hoax, and he called me a radio reprobate. That's what he does. He tries to step on people to make himself look better and just look stupid in the end. And in the end, guess what? This was not a hoax. It was the real deal. There was an Awatuki Sue. There was a real person who made the phone call. It was not a hoax perpetrated to get us ratings. It was for real. Exactly, and, it, and it's about time that he got shown that he needs to shut up and mind his own business. Where is Geraldo now? Where is he? Exactly. He's probably hiding in a hole with, you know, uh, some of our other little he's friends down, over He's, hiding, he's hiding in Al Capone's there. vault all by himself. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Or whatever next story he's going to think up and try to bring up with people. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, no problem, Tom. I'm a great, you know, I'm a great fan. Glad to hear you. We listen to you every time we come home from work. So good listening to you, man. All right, Joe. Thank you for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's our telephone number. Alex on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I'm a big fan. Thank you. I was wondering, what did you think about the Sirius XM merger? Do you think that's going to end up helping out the two companies, or it's too late for them? Well, uh, you got two companies that have never, ever made one penny of profit. Do you right. know that? Do you know that? Yeah. 
two companies, the two companies together, I've got more money in my pocket than Sirius and XM have made put together in profits in any quarter of all the years they've been in business. <laughs> Uh, and I also had another question. So do you think this is going to end up helping them out? Well, it'll help them out because they can fire half of their employees. <laughs> because, you know, between the two, they've got two alternative stations, two jazz stations, two blues stations. So they'll just fire half of all the employees, and that'll reduce some of their expenses. I talked about XM on the air. Uh, do you know that uh, XM, Wall Street got very excited about XM this quarter. Do you know why? No, I don't know why. Because they only lost $114 million. That's pretty good. That's all they lost. They were expected to lose much more. Oh, wow. So now these two companies that have never made a dime of profit, they have merged together. Right. So, look, I, and by the way, this is no knock on Howard Stern. He's the only thing they've got. Well, the, well that's, that, that you bring me up to my other question. That's exactly what I was going to tell you. Now that, like, supposedly Howard has a five-year contract and he got paid almost half a bill. When his contract's up, do you think they're going to offer him more money? Because I know if he's not on, I'm canceling my subscription. I don't know what's going to happen because um, you have to wonder how much longer Howard Stern wants to be doing this. I, I have no idea. I mean, what, well, is Howard, big... what does he have left to prove? He's done. He's done everything. He's he's accomplished every goal. He's achieved everything. I mean, uh, you know, he should work as long as he wants to. Right. Well, I, I mean, I understand that the guy's the he's real brilliant. But do you think, from a business standpoint, especially now that they've merged, you think that he would that it would be stupid for him not to stay at least for like another year? Do I think it would be stupid for him to stay another year? Well, not to stay another year, now that they've merged. Well, I mean, the, the fact, whether they're merged or not, he was getting paid. Right, but I mean, when his contract's up, wouldn't, I mean, if I were me, if I were the employer, I would tell I would tell Stern, you know what, here's more money, stay at least for another year. Because oh, I think I... personally that if he's gone, I think their stock will drop again, because I know a lot of people listen to him specifically. And, I, you know, the music's all right, whatever. I have an iPod, but, I mean, I'm not going to listen to serious music. Once he's gone, I think that's pretty much it for me. Well, I mean, uh, come on. Can you name another talk show on uh, on Sirius other than Howard Stern? Well, I can, but it's, he really? doesn't like you very much. But uh, it's Bubba the Loved Ones, but, I mean, he's on Actually, Stern's Bubba's now, said so. very nice things about us. I, I, and, yeah. by the way, that's no knock on Bubba. The fact is that Bubba's on, what, one day a week? No, he's on. He's on Monday through Friday, but I mean different I mean, times, different days. Sure. I can't even figure it out. He's what on happened? Friday morning, and then he's on Monday through Thursday afternoon. I, I don't. I don't. I haven't figured it out. Uh, but that's no knock on him. He's he's been very complimentary to us, and uh, we have nothing bad to say about Bubba. And uh, Bubba is, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, he's great for serious. But the reality is, even if he's good, there's a, there's probably a lot of good shows on Sirius. How many of them can you name? <laughs> I only I only listen to Stern and Bubba. Well, there you go. I mean, are you aware that, uh, for example, Oprah is she on Sirius or XM? She's on XM, but I'm I'm not going to listen to Oprah. Are I'm you sorry. sure? <laughs> I'm positive. I think she's on Sirius. No, she's on XM. I, I how about uh, Martha Stewart? Which one is she on? Is, uh, Martha Stewart's on Sirius. Really? Do you listen to these shows? What happened? Do you listen to these shows? <laughs> Stop making me laugh, please. Come on, how do you know all this? Well, I know it because Howard talks about it, but I'm not going to listen to Oprah oh. and then Martha Stewart. I'm sorry. You don't want to listen to a lot of masculinity. I'm not gonna the Gail King that. show? Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, real entertaining. It's $13 a month. You can hear the Gail King show. Like, like I say, look. I listen to them too, Bubba and Howard. After that, I turn automatically to you. <laughs> That's good. Let's keep that going. Anyway, I'm a big fan of Howard Stern. I've never had a bad word to say about Howard. Uh, love him to death. Wish him nothing but good things, and uh, I mean that. But, um, you know, uh, satellite radio will be out there, just like uh, Showtime is out there. Uh, does it have as many viewers as network TV? No. Does it make as much money as network TV? No. 
But, you know, there's an audience for it, and there are some people paying for it who like what they're getting. And But I don't think it's ever going to be this overwhelming force. Well, yeah, I completely agree with you. I mean, most people I know wouldn't even pay $12 a month to listen to it. So, people, I mean, forget, people forget that... Uh, programming is just software, and satellite radio is nothing more than a delivery system. Yeah. You know, I mean, if there's software that plays on the Mac or the PC, would it affect whether you buy a Mac or a PC? You know what happened? I said there is software that runs on a Mac and a PC. Some You're people like right, Macs right. and some people like PCs. Exactly. I like PC better, but... But all that really matters is whether you're getting the software you want. And, much. and a lot of the software that's on satellite radio is the same songs that are playing in lots of other places. Exactly. You're 100% right, Tom. Yeah. I All gotta right. run. I thank you for the call. We're gonna come back with Cheech and Chong. They're gonna be appearing here at uh, 420. By the way, uh, we're going to do a national bong hit, uh, while we have Cheech and Chong here. And if you want to do a bong hit on the air, uh, you can call in right now, 1-800-5800-TOM. And everybody who does a bong hit on the air will get a copy of Tommy Chong's DVD called A.K.A. Tommy Chong. And uh, this is a DVD that tells you all about Tommy Chong's experience uh, when he was taken in by the SWAT team and uh, spent time in a federal penitentiary uh, for uh, being in the paraphernalia business. And uh, uh, you'll want to uh, get a copy of that. So if you call us right now, 1-800-5800-TOM, D&J Demilio will take your name and all your information. And we will make sure you get a copy of the DVD, a.k.a. Tommy Chung. We will return coming up at 420 with Tommy Chung. It's 420 Pacific time, of course. Tommy Chung and, of course, Cheech Marin coming up. Cheech and Chung, stay right there. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Calling to report a flashing, sir. I stopped at a red light, and I have a headlight out of my car, and the female next to me rolled down her window and motioned for me to roll down, so I did, and she said, I see you have a headlight out, and I said, yeah, I've been meaning to get it fixed. She said, well, you only get half the show then. And she popped her left can out of her blouse and uh, gave me a nice uh, peek. I love that. Was anyway, it nice? I thought it was pretty what? comical that I had the headlight out and she only chose to show me one. Would have loved two, but one will do. It's Flash Friday on the Tom Likey Show. <laughs> Tom Lankin, show company from Venice Beach. A perfect day to be here. I'll tell you what. Right on the boardwalk, baby. That's where we are. At 1-800-5-800-TOM. And uh, Cheech, you've been on our show before? Never have. This is my first time I'm a virgin, Tom. No, but you were on my show. You don't remember. When? You were in, when, in the studio in Culver City. You were on the show once. Oh, that was you. That was me. Before the sex change. I, That's I right. I didn't recognize you. That's exactly right. Okay. Thanks for coming in. Tommy Chung, never have had the pleasure till today. Thanks yeah. for coming over. Yeah. Well, I was going to be on the show before, but then I got high. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to show up on yeah. it? Forgot to show yeah. up. Now, we're, we're going we're gonna to put all these people on the air. They're going to do a national bong hit on the air. Cool. And everybody who calls 1-800-5800-TOMMY gets on the air and does the bong hit will get a copy of Tommy Chong's DVD. A.K.A. Tommy Chong. Oh. We're giving them away. Cool. Yeah. So you Good guys, it, it's official at 420 Pacific Time. Uh, tickets are going on sale for your first tour. I hear it's in 25 years. It's been that long? Yeah, 20, 27. Yeah. 27, 27 years. years? So there's people walking around that are 27 years old that weren't born the last time we were on stage. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me. These first, got kids that have never seen them. <laughs> now, now what, what precipitated uh, you guys not working together 27 years ago on stage, doing well, concerts, doing movies, everything? And, and what precipitated the reunion? Well, I, I didn't know we were broken up for years. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just yeah, thought he, we were on vacation. You know? <laughs> and then, he, then I went to the last Cheech and Chong movie and I wasn't in it. <laughs> yeah. He was. I thought we were just on vacation. You didn't. At the early days, you used to like leave a message when the first phone machine. So his phone machine was messed up, and then he didn't didn't ever get a fax. And so finally, we came into the tech stage, and like, oh, wow, I'm not. Then I liked, I, and I liked it. You know, it was fun being on vacation. You know? Yeah. And then uh, he thought he was getting away with something. <laughs> and then we were trying to get back together. Then I went to jail. <laughs> that got in the way of a reunion, yeah. did it? Yeah. Instead of being with one cheech, I was with a thousand cheeches. <laughs> 
quite a few cheeses. Man. And then, uh, then, then, then I got high. No, then we went. Uh, th- then we got out, and we were, we were, we were trying to get together. And you know, cheeses always had his uh, uh, straight acting jobs, you know, going on. You know, so yeah, and my Shakespearean career. How's that going? It's going it's, pretty well. Hey, it's going good. I'm going to do omelet next week. <laughs> <laughs> did I tell you? I did Shakespeare. Did you win? I did Shakespeare with Tom Hanks. Are you kidding? I did uh, Taming of the Shrew. Really? Yeah. I played the pendant. The pendant? Yeah. I it was incredible. Well, all these uh, stars, it was a, a benefit for uh, Shakespeare companies or something. Yeah. But all those, you know, uh, Tim Allen and uh, William oh. Shatner and Annette Bening and, and Tommy Chong. <laughs> that was funny, man. I was getting their autographs. <laughs> <laughs> really? like, well, welcome to the welcome. So to I'm the a party. Shakespearean actor. She's a Shakespearean actor. Uh, actor, wow. man. Shakespeare, kick him in the rear. <laughs> now, we got all these guys on the phone okay, who want to do a bong hit. Oh, yeah. Because okay. the tickets go on sale right. at 420 right, right now. Right now. They've no, been listen. on sale for 56, 7 minutes. No, no, they're not now. on yet. No, yeah, they, they are. are. Right there. See, is, it, the is that the right time? 420. 21. Oh, 420. Oh, they've been on sale they're for a minute. Now, for a minute. Yeah. And if I, LA's not already hey, sold out, I just, I just got a text. We're sold out. We're sold out. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We got lots to sell. So you go to, uh, where do you go, chichachongtour.com? Is that uh, the deal? What's a, or uh, live uh, nation. LiveNation.com. Live nation. Live to live buy nation. tickets there on sale right now. Yeah. And how many cities are you guys doing? Uh, 20 something, 25, some round routing right around there. Really? Yeah. Wow. We're going to oh, try right, to hit it all It says the... it right there. 20. Oh, d- d- we'll. We're, we're only doing cities. There's a word missing. I think they're saying we'll be over 22 dates. Yeah, we're only yeah. doing cities where they smoke pot. Yeah. <laughs> Only, That's only the only ones. The ones that they don't smoke pot in, we're going. We're not going to go. Yeah. Away. Well, this is called the Light Up America tour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to bring peace and love and levity to America yes. as we light up. Yes. Because America needs something. Lighten up, America. That's exactly right. Let's take some of these calls. I can't punch them up here because I'm in the sun. I can't even see the screen. But Art is going to punch them over the studio. Let's Art. go to the first caller there. What's your name? Hello. Did Art punch him up? Well, it sounds like one of our fans. I think yeah. he's stoned already, yes. Hello? Uh, Hello? Uh, yes. Uh, what? What is your name? Oh, David. Hey, David. David. Are you stoned already, David? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get 420, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. a little bit, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'd, uh, and uh, now, have you seen these guys uh, work? Have you seen them uh, in concert? Have you seen them in a movie? or uh, Were you not I've born yet? On TV. I haven't seen them live or anything. I'm oh. actually uh, holding a chong bong. The art. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Save that. Got a little picture of you on the side of it. That's right. Save that, it. It's worth a lot of money. Yeah, that put me in jail for nine months. So, <laughs> thanks for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hang on there, because we're going to get everybody on at once to do a bong hit all at one time. Who is the next caller? Louis. What Lewis. is Louis? Louis. Oh, yeah, all right, Louis. What's, what's up, up? Louis? So glad you're out of prison, man. Oh, Thank you, cool. Louis. Yeah. I thought this one's for Tommy. So am I. My butt's almost healed, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and are you uh, stoned? Or what's the deal over there? Yeah. 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 Smoke some OG <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they ask us what took us so long to get back together. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's get the next one on there. we got a bunch of people here. Uh, it's 1-800-5800-TOM. Who is the next caller? Mike. Hello. What's up, <laughs> Mike? Hey. We were going to have everybody. Guys? Hey, I just want to say, Cheech and Chong, you guys were like other fathers besides Tom to me. You raised me throughout high school. And, uh, yeah, this one's for you guys. All right, and, brother. And thank you a lot. And we're, we're proud of you, my son. Go <laughs> forth and multiply. <laughs> now, we were going to have the college introduce themselves, but the question, what is your name, was too complicated. What is your name? <laughs> Stump for a comeback. Bob. It, it should be a contest. If you guess your own name, you win a prize. Bob. <laughs> Almost. All right, who is the next caller here? Zach. Zach, what's up, Zach? Yes. This is Zach. Hey. Eric or Zach? Zach with a Z. Okay. Hey, what's up, dude? What's going on? Are you going to come to see us? I, I live in Issaquah, Washington, gayest town on earth. We'll be, we'll be in the Seattle so, so come on down to Seattle. Let's see this. Is going to be women there? They're going to be at the Paramount Theater Thanksgiving weekend. On November weekend. 29th. You see, this explains right. 
This explains yeah. why marijuana isn't legal yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can smoke a, the big, I'll smoke the fattest blunt you guys have ever seen in your life. It's a beautiful if thing. You, if you guys will smoke it. With, with well, me. you know, you never can. Oh, there's that Jim Hendricks guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hang still on. Alive? He's still alive. He is. Wow. My Look at that. Here he is. Yes, I'm here, guys. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? How's the weather up in Seattle right now, or the Washington area? Yep. It's beautiful. Yep. <laughs> it's yep. All right, man. Let's get. Let's get. The city of the, I'm in the city of the green. All right. Oh there yeah. We, go. we love you. Yeah, you guys ever heard of seat fair? I thought a seat fair put and try to put your name out there. Yeah, I know. I I always tell everybody I'm going to appear there, and then everybody see, tells everybody else that they saw me walking around. So I don't even have to go there. <laughs> Man, I, I got this boat, big boat called the Nasty. The all nasty. Right. nasty. Oh, yeah. Do you I do was, the Nasty on I was the Nasty? I all about like it's 101. I, had, I got a stripper pole on it and everything. <laughs> Very nice. How, how nautical. How yeah, nautical, yeah. but nice. How handy. Very nice. Oh, well, hang on there, okay, because we're going to go for this big national bong hit in a second. But uh, who is the next caller? Carol. Carol, a girl. All right, Carol, what's up? What up, baby? How are you? Or is it a guy named Carol? <laughs> Carol? Carol's just laughing over there. Are you stoned, Carol? Be a, better be a girl. Who is this? Be here a minute. Carol, are be you there? Oh, she's not there. No, hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold what on. do you think this is? <laughs> what? Yeah. Carol, are you there? I'm here. Uh, Hi, Carol. Well, where are you? I'm waiting for the other phone to ring. Oh. Where You're it? waiting for the other phone to ring. <laughs> well, you need you to... wanted the phone number. <laughs> what? Uh, who are you talking to? Do you I know who you're talking to? Me, to? I got your digits right here. <laughs> where where Sorry, are you? I don't know who the hell I am. Where are you, Carol? This is the Tom Lyka oh, show, and you're talking to Cheech and Chong. Cool. Cool. <laughs> what, what city are you in, Carol? Sun City, California. Oh, that's good. Sun City, California? You got your bong ready? I got to go all the way back in there where it is. <laughs> yeah, we got to hear it. You got to hear it again. I know you people oh. are so put upon. Okay, <laughs> oh. I got to walk all the way back. All right. Oh. We'll, make people we'll always, come back to you, Carol. We'll you see, we assumed when they were going to take this bong hit that it would be the first one. <laughs> yeah. Not well, that they were. I got, I got bongs. Yep. Sitting right here. I got plenty of them. I'm surrounded by bongs. All right. Cool. Yeah, uh, I got to hear it again. Organizing. Oh, on the floor. Uh-oh. Oh. Or organizing <laughs> stoners no, really. is like herding kitties. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. But, yeah. All right. Let's, we got okay. Tina. All right, this is the last one. Tina. We're Tina. back in the office. What? Oh, you're in the office. Where'd it go? You got right. on your bar. Carol's bomb. back in the office. Tina, where are you? Hey, hey where'd it go? go? Uh, Tina, just shout over Carol. Who isn't going to shut up. Uh, <laughs> where are you calling oh, from? No, there it is. Tina? Yes. Where are you calling from, Tina? Studio City, California. All right, local yokel. <laughs> we like that. Very nice. Very good. Very nice. All right, you guys. Now, you guys all ready? Because uh, Cheech and Chong are here. The tickets went on sale for their big tour uh, at 420. You go to LiveNation.com and look under Cheech and Chong and, and purchase away. There you go. Oh, I'm purchasing. All, all right, right. Dude. <laughs> All right. We're going to count you down. Are you ready? Ready. I'm uh, ready. Everybody ready? Zach's yeah. ready. Yeah. Uh, Carol has to go into the other room. <laughs> Um, I'm here. Awesome. All right. <laughs> and that's going to be loaded. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. Five, okay, we're doing it. Four, four, three, three two, two, one. Fire it up. Fire it up. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have a winner. <laughs> no, this, is, this, should be, this should be in the Olympics. <laughs> Why isn't this in the Olympics? <laughs> it is. Oh. <laughs> I'll show you guys the Olympics. Just come to my part of town. All right, man. <laughs> well, thank you Thanks so much. Thanks, everybody, for bonging. Wow. Yeah. Bonging with Chong and Cheech. Every, everybody gets a copy of the uh, AKA Tommy Chong DVD. Oh, great. And speaking of which, tell us tell us about this DVD. Tell us, uh, well, tell us about how you ended up in the slammer. Well, I... Uh... I, I got caught by the feds. You know, they're I, they're invading Iraq, and they, they made a little stop off at my house. Yeah. <laughs> All the dangerous uh, terrorists. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, they figured, you know, that uh, they, they had to find some weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> so, so it ended up being my bongs. <laughs> and then they charged me with conspiring to ship them across state lines. Ooh. And it's in the DVD where they, they had a... 
set up a phony head shop in order to make me break the law. But no one in, in our company would send it to him because we knew, you know, that we're, we're, we weren't supposed to send it to him. And so what they did, they uh, put an undercover agent in our in our company, and then uh, the guy sent a bong, you know, a bunch of bongs to the place, and then they busted me. And I, I would have beat it. I would have went to court, and I would have had fun with them, you know, because I would have, you know, they, they really had no, nothing against me. But they threatened to put my wife in jail and my son because my wife signed a check, and my son, it was his company. And I just couldn't picture myself visiting my wife in prison. <laughs> you know, saying, uh, how, how are they treating you, hon? <laughs> Don't worry, I got everything taken care of out here. You know, listen, I'll be back next week. I'll bring you something. Hey man, so I, mean, so I, I did the job. I did the time. Well, I mean, I, that's a question for everybody out there. What would you do in this situation? I'm thinking Tommy stepped up, dude. Yep. Ah. You know. That's nine months out of his life. Absolutely. And, then, yeah. and he doesn't have a whole bunch of nine months left. You yeah, know? I, I understand. <laughs> now, yeah, I'm getting what, over it now. Though. What was that trial like? Was it, there well, was the a, trial was a joke. There was man, no trial. There was no, no trial. I, I had to uh, plead guilty on, guess the date. Guess what date they, they had me sentence me? Fourth of July? 9-11. 9-11. Nine really? Eleven. That was your sentencing date? 9-11, yeah. And wow. they wouldn't change it. And they and they got a big courtroom because they were expecting all these protesters. One guy showed up with a cardboard sign that read, free marijuana. <laughs> so you followed him? I didn't know if he was giving away free marijuana or he was protesting. One guy in a huge courtroom. And then and then I had to stand up, you know, and grovel before the judge, you know, as you do, you know, in these cases. And so I groveled the best I could, you know. And I tried to explain how salsa dancing, I had a plan, how salsa dancing would solve the drug problem in America. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of cut me off half, halfway through my rap. He goes, ah, okay, we heard yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then he gave us nine, then he didn't even give me nine months. He gave him the bong there. Bang, the gong. Oh, why? Yeah, nine months. Yeah. Nine months. But they didn't, it, well, they said the good news is that we're not taking you away to jail. They could have handcuffed me and taken me away then. But they said they'll let me go home and do some more press. <laughs> and you, uh, were you the only one that got sent yeah. to jail? Yeah, I was the only one. There was, there was a class action case that was what? There was 50 to... companies that they busted. Yeah. And I was the only one. And what they did, they give some guys house arrest. But the ones that, that had house arrest, they, they took their equipment home and, and worked out of their house. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was a joke. It was fun. Now, but, did you meet fans in prison? Oh, yeah, a lot of fans. I bet you did. Yeah, I had a, I had a dog. That's what you call your best friend, you know, in prison. Your dog. Yeah. So I had a dog, and he'd been down many times. You know, he was a he was an old pro. He he helped me through the. He showed me the games. You got to learn card games and and how to do time and how to work out and you know the whole thing. It was it was it was a really great experience because I, I felt like I was undercover. You know. I felt like I was in there to report on all the prison conditions. So I, so, so it, it turned out really well, and I met a lot of good people. So you are remarkably uh, not bitter about this. No, seems. no, no, no. Because, it, well, before we got, I got busted, I was, you know, I, 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 my career was kind of, you know, just limping along. And I said to my buddy, Josh, the guy that shot the the film i said uh, i need i need some kind of gimmick you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then a month later a month later i get busted and it was like oh thank you god <laughs> and then and then i wrote a book and, that, and, that, and then i wrote another book before cheech and i got back together i wrote the unauthorized autobiography of cheech and chong and then again, you know, the book was like, it was okay, it's there. Then I said, I need another gimmick to sell this book. And next thing you know, Cheech and I are back together again. <laughs> <laughs> and so the, so the publisher asked me, do you want to change the ending? I said, no, no, not at all. Because you know? the ending, I, I, you know, I didn't think we'd ever get back together again in the book. And so so it's, it's, it's all good. It's all. The universe is perfect. I guess so. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We're talking to Cheech and Chong here. They are back together. They are going on tour over 22 cities. I guess there'll be more cities to be yeah, determined be more, here. More but cities. the tickets have gone on sale today at LiveNation.com. If you log on, you can see these guys together for the first time in 20, 27, 27 years. 27 years. Yep. On stage. On stage Live. together. Yeah, Live. Are you guys going to do new material, old material? <laughs> what are you going to do? We're going to do a little bit of both. We're um, doing stoner material. Stoner. <laughs> the classics. We're going to do, actually, we're going to do half a Carlin's act because he's not using it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 
We had been doing a lot of prior stuff, but, you know. People are groaning, but George Carlin would have told that same joke about somebody else, and you know he would have. He came up with it at the same time as we did, so we were all buds. That was on George's show. Did you ever do George's show? That was never on George's show. That was on George's show. It was great. I, I, I'm, I was the kind of actor, you know, that if a show was being canceled, it booked me on it. <laughs> I was on Dennis Miller's show yeah. just before he got axed. Boy. Well, I had fun with Dennis. Yeah, God, time Dennis is Mr. Right Wing. You know? Oh, yeah. And so, so Dennis said, oh, I met you. Didn't we meet somewhere? I said, yeah, Dennis, we partied. Remember that? I? <laughs> he died on camera, man. Oh, really? goes, I'm not a smoker. Yeah, no, no, no. So you, you mistook me for someone else. <laughs> Oh, the other guys, man. man. (laughs) It's a joke, you know. (laughs) (laughs) We'll take a break. We'll go back here on the Tom Likas Show with Cheech and Chong. Stay right there. Tom Likas. Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Likas. 1-800-5800-866. Guys don't need to be in relationships. They don't. Some guys do. Some guys do. Yeah. Blind guys. You know, I imagine Stevie Wonder needs someone to dress him every day. I understand. It's the Tom Likas Show. From the boardwalk at Venice Beach, it's the Tom Likas Show. Uh, we are here with Keisha Chong, who are back together again and going on tour. Uh, the tickets went on sale at 4.20 p.m. Pacific time. You better get those tickets now. Five cities have already sold out, man. LiveNation.com. There you go. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's take some phone calls here for Cheech and Chong. Let's say hello here to Sam on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? We're just grooving, man. We're over here looking at the beach and the ocean and Tom and Naked Chicks, and this is great. It's pretty nice, uh, hey. Sam. Hey, man, it's, it's really a pleasure. It's really an honor to talk to you guys. I grew up with your tapes in high school. Uh, my brother Rudy and I were wondering where we could get the older albums, like the Big Bamboo, the Wedding Album, the Drive-In. I mean, the, uh, that's the stuff that I grew up on. And I want to know, is it possible to get that CD or something? Or? Uh, yeah, che- che- Cheechandchong.com. Cheechandchong.com. They'll have yeah. CDs and also Wait. vinyls. And, so, okay, Cheechandchong.com? Yeah, yeah, and, and uh, what, what's the... Uh, Web for the uh, tickets. Uh, uh, and, uh, live Nation. Live Nation. Com. Com yeah, Live Nation. Dot com. Go on Live Nation. Dot com just to check out the. Just live to go Nation. buy tickets. Yeah, Live, live Nation. Nation. Dot com. Where, where, what city Free. are you in? And what you can do is buy a ticket for the concert, and then we'll tell you how to get the album. Oh, you got it. And for and for if you buy five tickets, we'll tell you again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you probably <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thanks for the call. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Cheech and Chong are here. Here's Frank. Hello. Frank. Hello, Tom. Hey, Hello, Frank. Frank. Hey, uh, Cheech and Chong, uh, man, three of my uh, favorite uh, people are on the, on the air. I can't believe cool. it. I like that. I'll uh, be Frank. <laughs> no, I'll uh, be Frank. Quick question. Yeah? Hello? Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Uh, quick question for Mr. Chong. Uh, sure. sure. The time uh, the time you spent in jail, I imagine uh, there was like some kind of a hero's welcome or something by the <laughs> other inmates. Was, was that the case? Yeah, they, they treated me really well. In fact, uh, they had a rule there that only the prisoners could take pictures with me. Yeah. The guards were not allowed to take pictures with me. And so I had a, I had to sneak around after when I was get, getting ready to get out to to get some pictures with the guards. And they were they were so excited to have him. They let him be in the barrel first. <laughs> you weren't going to bring that oh, up, Chief. Yeah. No, I, I was right. Come on, that well, really it, hurts it, the guy. It just came up. <laughs> Frank, thanks a lot for the call. Here comes Richard on the Tom Likas show for Cheech and Chong. Hello. Hey, Cheech. Hey, Chong. Hey, hey. Big fan. What's up, man? Hey, I got. Hey, I just wanted to call in because uh, me and my wife seen uh, Chong and in, in, uh, in Shelby yeah. a few months ago at uh, at the Brea Improv. Oh, Brea, good place, yeah. Yeah, it was great. It was great. A big fan, man. I've had, I got all your actual vinyl records. Yeah, beautiful. I got man. Big Bamboo. That's the only way to have it. Cool. Is it an I got, I got all your movies, even Yellowbeard, which uh, actually I don't know why I got that one. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's Yeah, bad. they had our face on the Yellowbeard. You see yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. false advertising, man. <laughs> yeah, well, my wife Shelby is going to be opening the show, and then Cheech and I are going to take over and, and just 
just do all the uh, bits from the albums and the movies and uh, and the television appearances. We're going to do all of it, aren't yeah, we? Absolutely, every single Can't one of them. Wait. And we're going to do them Can't twice. Wait. Can't wait. Hey, Tom, can you take me out uh, uh, with the bong hit? Of course I can. Here you go. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Sean on the Tom Lika Show for Cheech and Chong. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, Dad? Doing What's okay, up, son. Oh, God. I'm big fans of Cheech and Chong. You guys are awesome. When I was just a young boy, I used to listen to you guys all the time. Oh, Whatever well, happened to Blind Melon Chitlin? Oh, he's uh, around. Oh, yo. Uh, yo. Oh, yo. yo. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> he got washed away in Katrina for a little while, but he's back now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm like 44 years old, and you guys are just amazing. You guys, you guys did really good. You guys are amazing. Yeah, Thank we had a lot of much. fun, man. And we're, we're 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 we got our second win now. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. come come to a town. Where are you? I'm on the 10 freeway. Oh, and I I put some white shoe polish on my back window. Show your cans. I wrote some big old boobs on my back window. <laughs> of my truck. All right, we're I gonna... do it every summer, and I get flashed all the time. We're gonna come to the 10 freeway. We're gonna play the 10 freeway. I think that's our next gig. <laughs> I live in Buena Park. Where, how can I get tickets to go, see you guys? Go to uh, LiveNation.com. Yeah. They just went on sale like 20 minutes ago. Right on. Andale. And get them get them quick because. Because they're going fast. All right, take me out with a bong rip and a thank you, Jesus. Here you go, thank Sean. You thank you. I wish I was the guys that did, recorded that. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Kurt Warner. 1 800 5 800. What's Jesus done for him lately, by the way? That's right. That's he won I'm the thinking. Super Bowl since yeah. then? I don't think so. Was that Kurt Warner? Kurt yeah. Warner. Thank Here. you, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. at the end thank of the you, Super Jesus. Bowl. That's what he said at the end yeah. of the Super Bowl. Hasn't wow. won one since. No. Mark on the Tom Lagos show for Cheech and Chong. Hello. What's up, Tom? It's doing a little radio show here, Mark. What's going on, Tom? I, I just uh, just told you. <laughs> and I want to know what's up with Cheech and Chong. Okay. Hey, what's, what's up with Cheech and Chong? We're getting ready to come to a theater or drive in near you. Hey, Cheech, why you been dissing Chong for so long, though? Ah, uh, it's nothing else to do. You know, oh, that, it's like a piñata. You're all against weed, and you you made it on weed. I'm not. I'm not against weed. weed. Made it on weed. I'm not against weed. Yeah, you are. You don't even want your kids to watch your movies. Who says this? <laughs> Come on. Who says that? <laughs> Come on. You that's busted. The, see, that's, hey, dog, that's why we dog, broke up. <laughs> He's getting busted. Him get He's getting busted. Bust him some more, man. <laughs> my, my kids are my biggest fans. <laughs> <laughs> Bust him some more. Who is this? This is Mark from Azusa. All right, you don't Mark get to come to our show. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there for sure, man. I've been missing you guys. No, no, no Marks get to come in. Man. <laughs> you get to come in, Mark. But you got to bust him some more. Bust him one more time. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, right, that's yeah. Right. What's with what's with that, Cheech? Yeah, well, give me all your weed. I'll bless it for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm at Southgate Herbal Hilly. Don't trip. Okay, man. All, All right, man. Mark. Thanks, Thanks a lot. lot. <laughs> Here comes Blair on the Tom Lankin Show from Venice You're Beach for Cheech and Chong. Hello. Hello, Let's Cheech. You know. Mr. Chong. Yeah. Hey. Hey, I had a question. I heard a rumor on the uh, Internet. You're supposed to be coming out with a movie, Cheech and Chong, Get Blunt. Get Blunt? <laughs> yeah. No, that, that was, no uh, get, get Blown. That, that was uh, Ray Don's uh, script. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, that, oh, no. Remember that was out years ago. Uh, she, uh, my daughter Ray Dawn wrote a script for Cheech and Chong uh, uh, about five years ago. Could have been yeah. six but... years ago, and uh, we we talked about it. But uh, we 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 have to. Uh, well, neither one of us can really read. At least I can't read. So so we we make up movies as we go. But uh, no, that's just a rumor. Our, uh, the next movie will be called. Uh, uh, darker night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. No, Cheech and Chong go to White Castle too. To and and and, uh, and meet uh, some of and the guys and eat a and, pineapple and eat a pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> Express. Express. Sam on the Tom Lagan show for Cheech and Chong. Hello. Hi Tom. Hi Tommy. Hi Cheech. Hey. Hey guys. I just gotta say, um, Tommy Chong. My yeah. favorite thing I've ever seen you in was Leo in that '70s show. Oh You're well, the thank funniest you. Funniest ever. Thank you. It was quite a stretch for me, you know. Yeah. I, I went from stoner to uh, Stone. other stoner. But, uh, you know, I, I had to study acting to get that one across, but I did it. 
Yeah, I know it's nothing like your uh, character. I had to say, I love the Canada episode. Oh yeah, that that that's the one we're going to show in uh, in our live show. We're going to have a tape of that up on, in our live show, right? Yeah, the Canada. Yeah, one. yeah. yeah. the Canada one. It's good. Well, thank uh, you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. I love that episode. <laughs> Funniest episode ever when you're like, no, you leave Canada, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had it kind of weird, you know, because uh, they're, they're giving us a hassle going into the States and we're supposed to be go- getting into Canada. But anyway, it worked out great. I love that show. Sam, thanks a lot. Nacho on the Tom Likas show. Hello? Yeah, hey, what's up, Tom? Uh, what's much? Up, what's up, Tom? Hey, what's, what's up, up, man? Hey, I wanted to, I wanted to hear you guys, uh, the Chief say, hey, who cut your hair? Man. Cut your hair, man. <laughs> you know how to say Mike Cheese in Spanish? Nacho Cheese. <laughs> Nacho, 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 Nacho Cheese. cheese. <laughs> What's up, Nacho? Yeah. Uh, nothing, just uh, cruising right now. All right, dude. Oh, cruise on, man. Watch the road. Uh, oh, oh, is that what I'm doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Thanks a lot for the call. This has been so great to have you guys hey, on together. Pleasure, Tom. Thanks Fine. for having us on your show. Really enjoyed it. Good My to pleasure. see you both. Yeah, let's do that again sometime. Absolutely. Tom. Please do. Cheech and John, you're going on the road. Tickets are on sale at LiveNation.com. And, of course, the Tommy Chong DVD, a.k.a. Tommy Chong, available just about everywhere. Yeah. Uh, on, uh, Cheech and John. Tommy John. Yeah, that's right. No doubt about it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Bye-bye. Look for Cheech and Chong on the road. Coming up later this summer, this fall. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.